Hi there, I'm going to show you how to easily hammer in the buttons from our dungarees kits. You'll need a hammer um, and all. You'll need the buttons and the nails and uh, if you have an anvil that's the best thing to use. It's a solid metal piece. If you don't have this, we, we do sell them, but something else metal that you might find in your home, like a cast iron pot would be ideal. Um, so I've already done this button. Firstly, I've made the buttonholes. I've cut them and I've poked a marker through the hole so that I have the perfect position for my button. So what I'm going to do is use that marking to put a hole with my awl through all the layers of the fabric. And this is interfaced as well. Make sure it's extra strong. I'm gonna get the nail and poke it through from the inside to the outside of the garment. And I'm gonna use my fingernails to make sure that all the ridges of the shank of that nail have gone all the way through. So that's as far in as possible. Have my anvil and my button upside down. I'm gonna line this nail with the back in the hole. And I'm going to use the fabric to hold this in place and I'm going to make sure that it's very straight. I'm just going to hammer it in. I'm not hammering it hard, I'm just tapping it in like three, four times. And there it is. It's attached. It's as simple as that. Um, yeah, let's just double check. It all looks nice together. Great. Now in your set, you have um, six buttons. A lot of patterns don't even have buttons here, but this particular pattern has two, four, six. So if you're, if you've never hammered in buttons before, or you're not sure about them, I'd start with the ones at the side and work your way up to doing the ones on the bib, because these ones are going to be the most important to be correct. If you hammer them too hard, you can um, distort the front of the button. You don't need a lot of force. You really just need to tap them in. This is a different style of button from our other kits. It has ridges on it. So you're just forcing those in and then the ridges grab hold of the inside of the button. So they're simpler to install. And there you have it.